hello everyone, I am the Play Gamer 3. This is part one of my playthrough of Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. This is the fourth game in the Alone in the Dark series. Um, if you're not familiar with the series, Alone in the Dark is kind of the grandfather of survival horror games. Um, this game inspired the franchises like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Um, the original games were old-fashioned survival horror, um, less action and more puzzle elements. Um, this game kind of changed the format. Um, the new nightmares kind of, uh, I guess, reimagined, rebirth the franchise. So this this game copied sort of the Resident Evil style of gameplay. It's more action um, than the previous games, and there's you know puzzle puzzle solvement just like in Resident Evil. I mean, you can call this a Resident Evil clone because there's so many similarities. Which is funny because Resident Evil copied the first Alone in the Dark game and now you have this Alone in the Dark game copied Gloucester, Massachusetts, Resident October Evil. October 30th, 2001. 2100 hours. Okay, I'm gonna try not to talk through um, the dialogue because I know people hate that. This is a really nice intro, by the way. It's like you're watching a movie. Boston Police Department. Name Fisk. First name Charles. Date of birth February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death October 24th, 2001. States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Is Cedrac? Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abkhanis stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. Uh. 
Getting close. Shadow Island. What was that? The controls are dead. Put that on. We have to jump. Okay, so just like Resident Evil, you can choose to either play Kirby or the girl. So in this one, I'm going to play as Kirby because he is the main character. Alone in the dark. Resident Evil. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here we go. So I don't know who bright idea was to go to a deserted island during the middle of a <laughs> intense rainstorm. Okay, so I got my double barrel revolver. Aline? Yeah, I got a radio so I can communicate with Elaine. Okay, this is the map, bridge garden. Uh, my trusty flashlight. Yeah, good special effects. And this is my inventory. So I got my weapons. So just like Resident Evil, you can examine your weapons or any items. Uh, double barrel, dual cylinder. I mean, do they have double barrel revolvers in real life? So I got bullets. Nine millimeter. Okay, it's so my objects. Charm of saving. So yeah, you use that to save the game. Kind of like the ribbons in Resident Evil. Um, you can you cannot save at any time during this game. You have to have this charm. So. You know, you gotta save carefully. First aid kit. Now, walkie talkie. Use that to communicate with Elaine. my trusty flashlight okay so it's my notebooks so notebooks hold um, journals diaries that you find um, throughout the game Shadow Island. Okay, so that's the map. This is 
is Fisk Journal. So you're gonna find journals like this throughout the whole game. So um, I guess you can pause and read it. Um, journals like these gives you insight into the backstory of the game. So if you wanna learn about you know the character's backstory, I advise you to read through all of these journals that you find. Um, some of them can be kind of um, long, so um, I'm not gonna read it. I mean, you can just pause it and read it yourself if you want to. So this is Charles Fist's journal. Charles Fist was a, um, back in the day, he was a FBI guy dealing with um, kind of black ops operations for the United States. So um, he was investigating um, this island, Shadow, Shadow Island, and this guy called Obed Martin. Um, his family owns Shadow Island. So this guy Obed found, well, he was, he was interested in these um, ancient clay tablets that he found that is supposed to attain some dark magical powers. Um, these tablets are written in a dead Indian language, so um, Obed, he was trying to contact these um, this Indian tribe in order to translate the tablets so he can, you know, attain the power. So um, Charles Fisk was investigating um, Obed, but he died, so now you got... Edward Kirby investigating Fisk um, death. I mean, that's just a brief um, backstory. I mean, like I told you, you have to read these journals in order to understand the full story. Okay, so I think I looked at everything in my inventory, so now we can um, start the game. So yeah, the controls are almost identical to Resident Evil. Yeah, I like the flashlight effect in this game. Oh! Oh, did you see that? Get it secure with a padlock. And I don't have the code. I mean, look at the gate. He can easily climb over the gate, but hey, this is video game logic, so... Uh, gotta come back to that gate at a later date. Um, so yeah, for a PlayStation 1 game, they, they got some good graphics. I mean, look at the the flashlight effects, the rain effects. I mean, there's a lot of going on in the background in this game. Hornby, answer me, please. Aline, are you okay? How could I be okay? What was that thing? What the heck's going on here? At the moment, I've got no idea. Listen, I want out of here, right now. Look, don't panic. I'll think of something. Where exactly are you? On the roof of some kind of manor. I nearly got myself killed. I'm really scared. Please do something. I landed in some woods about 100 yards from the manor. Can you see me? See you? How could I? Help me, for Christ's sake. Turn on your flashlight. Okay. I can see you now. Okay, I see you too. Here's what we'll do. Try and get inside the manor, then find a place to hide. I'll come looking for you. 
How long will that take? I don't know. As little time as I can. What? Aline, I'll come for you. And that's a promise. Hurry. <laughs> Boy, her attitude changed quick. I mean, first she was eager to come to this island. Now, you know, we got this misstep and she's already ready to leave. Okay, so Elaine, um, um, she's searching for her, um, missing father, well, that's in her side of the story, um, she can also, um, translate those tablets because she's familiar with the Indian tribe that, um, I guess originally wrote those tablets, so, She's kind of here to, you know, interpret the tablets if we find them. But again, her her backstory is well. We're gonna find that out once we play her side of the story. Oh look, there's blood. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. With the, with the werewolf or something. Oh my god. No, no, don't move. Don't move. Leave me be. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. Who did this to you? This island is a hell hole. Not men. Filthy beasts. Flee! Get out of here any way you can. How did you get here? The boat. Last shipment. He shot everyone. Look, just try to stay calm. You've got a gun. I'm leading you some bullets. I'll go and find help. <laughs> but you'll die like everyone else. Run. I'll be back. Yeah, he's going to be dead by the time you get back. I mean, the guy is missing an arm. I mean, I'm surprised he haven't died of blood lost already. I mean, you could at least put a tourniquet or something on his arm. Okay, let me examine that key I found. Okay, it's a key. Disappeared because I don't see any. I don't see any secret passageways or something. So yeah, the game has a really creepy atmosphere.
Oh, wait, did I? Wait, maybe there's a secret passage. Wait, wait a minute. Let me go back there. I might have missed something because, I mean, this game is dark. Because of games like this, um, items can easily blend in to the environment. But I don't I missed anything. Yeah, just making sure I don't want to get stuck. Okay, so I guess I use that key I found to open this gate. Violent for a PS1 game. Well, uh, this game did come out when the PlayStation 2 was out, so games did get more violent back then. Oh, how convenient. A box of bullets land in the middle of nowhere. And, and, and of course, it matches my gun perfectly, so yeah, what a coincidence. Yeah, I like the music in this game. It fits the you know, situation we're in. bullets Aid kids just scattered <laughs> throughout this island. That's where that thing attacked that dog. Okay, this guy's walking too slow up this. Can I run? 
Okay, yeah, you can run up the stairs. This, the guy just taking his time. He got no care in the world or anything. Oh, where you coming from? I don't know why the dogs look like zombies. So it's two of them, so there's one more lurking somewhere around here. Oh, unless that that thing killed them. Wait, is that a dog or a person? Okay, it's a dog, so. There's the music. Yep. I know something's gonna come up on me. Oh, there's more. So I like dogs limping back there. Hey, okay, so yeah, it's real easy to kill those dogs. Um, I mean, there's no difficulty setting in this game. If I can push it, yeah, you can move um, stuff in the environments. So let's see if this is a puzzle. Nope, I guess I can't move it. area. Still haven't run into that whatever that thing was that killed the first two. You come from need dogs out there on this island. double barrel revolver so that means I only got six shots before I need to reload Where should I go? Okay, is this the entrance to the mansion? Again, he can easily hop over there. Not that hard to do. Hello? You have no idea. I forgot to tell you. I met an old woman. I believe she's Obed's mother. But she seems half crazy. She says she's not seen him for the last three days. Anything else? I believe Obed Horton is on the island. But everything I've seen. What else? Is that your only reaction? Or maybe you want me to carry 
react like that. I'll react whichever way I want to. Over. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I mean, she should be happy. I mean, she's in there. Carnby. Don't move. I'll come free you. And like I said, I mean, she's in the mansion already, so... Aline? I'm out here in the rain fighting zombie dogs and monsters Harvey. and stuff. Harvey, come in. What's going on? Things, terrifying things, shadows, living shadows. Aline? It's awful. Come and get me, I'm begging you, come quick. Aline! Aline! Okay, I guess she wasn't so safe in the house. Oh, something's going down. Aline? Okay, so I guess she has a right to be uh, upset. Oh, look. Someone's watching me. So that's a throwback to the original game. The original game had a scene just like that. What is that? A mutant, a mutant flea? those those shadow creatures she was talking about I don't know why my guns um, have an effect on shadows well no I mean you can only hit them if they're um, solid because if you was paying attention I was shooting them but when they're transparent you couldn't kill them so I guess you can only kill them when they're solid This place is called Shadow Island, so hey, Shadow Island, Shadow Creatures. Okay, let me reload. Yeah, it took a ridiculous amount of bullets to stop one of those things. Letting me reload. What's going on? Come on, reload. Okay, there we go. somewhere around here. Oh yes, I'm playing this um with a upscaler. That's how I'm able to record it so the aspect ratio might be a little off. That's why you couldn't see the you know the snow window. already Jeez, I'm 
almost out of bullets. This is the basement, is it flooded or something? Looks like I'm in a sewer or something. Attacked by the Loch Ness, Loch Ness monster. Oh, come on! I shot him. Come on, where are you? Oh, this is not good. Gotta hit him once he turns solid. I'm about to run out of bullets. Come on, I gotta pop out. Is that it? Did I, oh, oh. Okay, I think I killed them. Maybe he's just playing possum or something. Shoot the lock off. Okay, so I got zombie dogs, mutant flea looking monsters, got the Loch Ness monsters after me. Yes, I would like to climb up the ladder. Okay, let's save right quick. So yeah, the charm of savings. So once you use it, you cannot use it anymore. So you have to find 
another charm of saving so when you're saving you gotta make sure you really want to save because these things are not unlimited so I just used one just now so now if I want to save again I have to find another one somewhere in the environment turn that sealed up Okay, so I got another charm of charm of savings. Okay, got another first aid kit. Oh, that's a shotgun. <laughs> Triple barrel shotgun. So I got a double barrel revolver, and now I got a triple barrel <laughs> shotgun. I mean, come on, it's a shotgun. The triple barrel is kind of overkill, don't you think? Okay, got a box of bullets. So these are the what is are those are the shotgun bullets? Okay, so there are shotgun bullets. Okay, so that thing got triple barrels, so it should pack quite a, a punch. Going the wrong way. So I'm still in the basement. I thought I just came out of the basement. And of course, the gate is locked. I need a key. So, okay, why not? That's supposed to be a looks like a tunnel. So I thought I was going somewhere different. Yeah, sure does. Yeah, 
Okay, so that's a dead end. I'll make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I need a key. Okay, a key gotta be around this place somewhere. Aline? She's still not answering. Or maybe because I'm underground, she's not getting a good reception. He gotta be somewhere around here. What was, oh, the door is locked. So yeah, that's no help. look in this casket? I thought I did. Oh, I guess I didn't. No. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I want to take the key. to open the gate. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed part one of Alona Dark, The New Nightmare. I'll see you guys in part two.